Hi, stampers. Diane Divich here with ddstamps.com, and I want to welcome you to my stamp room. Uh, for those of you, here, I'm just checking right now to kind of shut down the, the actual, oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. Anyway, for those of you out there, I welcome you to my stamp room. Um, gosh, I feel like we haven't gotten together on two, on Wednesdays for a while. It actually, when I got on my computer to set it all up, I was like, oh, it looks like it's been several weeks. So in that time, I went to Oregon and visited with family. We rented a house on the beach in um, Wellport and spent a long weekend there with my brother and his family and my sisters, all of my sisters, my daughter, and we actually even had a cousin come down um, from Seattle and hang out with us for the weekend. So that was really fun. It was really great to see my, my daughter. And uh, she actually lives in Chicago, but she flew out to, to Oregon to spend some time with us. And then last week I was at a training for city council. For those of you who don't know, I am on city council here in our little town of Red Lodge. And uh, we were at a training last week for a couple days learning all about budgets and laws and all kinds of fun stuff um anyway so i'm glad that you're here i'm sorry that we haven't been together for a while if you see me kind of wondering what's going on it's only because my <laughs> looks like my mouse is getting ready to die oh there we go okay it's connected now if you can hear me out there see, uh, and see me let me know um, those of you who are on Facebook, I just realized when I'm looking at that, it looks like you have to press the play button. So I don't know if that is happening, if people realize that. Um, I'm going to keep tabs of, oh good, it looks like Anna and Denise are here. I'm going to keep tabs of people that show up. Cindy's here. I'm also going to be checking my phone for, um, oh good, I see a bunch of people. Yay, Wanda. Wanda's here, Donna's here, Jewel. Great. Oh, wait, that was last time. Never mind. Wanda's here, though. That's awesome. So we're people are at least starting to show up, which is good. So, um, and I actually had people that contacted me were kind of sad they couldn't meet me today. But this will be taped, so they, they can watch it later. Okay, so I haven't stamped much. As you can see, my room is a mess. I'm in the process of overhauling. If you see this shelf back here, I'm actually trying to consolidate stuff. And I want to get rid of this shelf here and do a little bit of rearranging in here. Kind of make it, I don't know, more accessible for me. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Sometimes I feel like I spend more time organizing than I actually spend time stamping. So, um, but I have been stamping a little bit. And I do have some projects for today, and I got a couple tips I want to show you. We're going to use the Everything is Rosy Medley um, set that's available through Stampin' Up! the month of May as supplies last. I will tell you, um, it's a beautiful day here in Red Lodge, so I've got the door open. The dogs are coming and going. Construction is happening all over my neighborhood. And so if you hear the beeping of backing up trucks and the pounding, it's just things that that's going to be our whole summer because they're tearing up all the the water lines so anyway just so you know if you hear it back there you may not i don't know but i like to keep the door open um for the dogs so they can come and go there's petra peeking in freya will be here too shortly and then i also have my sister-in-law's dog little Minnie, but i don't think she'll come in here and, and show her head hello did i say your name okay so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my um demonstration table <gasps> camera problem uh, no. this could be a complete disaster hangouts can't use a selected camera without a working camera the other participants will be able to see you nobody else is participating dang it i don't know i just i just tested the whole thing before i started I don't know why it's not working. What did I do wrong? Ah, yay, I got it. Okay, I always like when that happens. Makes me feel good. <laughs> okay, so just so you're aware, those of you who have placed orders with me over the past year will be getting the catalog. I do know a couple of customers that have already gotten it um, and they've been around the country. So I've gotten some from Florida, some from Montana. So watch your mailboxes. 
and uh, look for the new catalog. I can't show the inside until it goes live. But I wanted you to know that if you don't have a demonstrator and you want a new catalog, you will need to, um, if you're on my email list, I sent out an email, I think. Yeah. Otherwise, you can message me and I'll get you on the list. Um, but that's only if you don't have a demonstrator that you already work with because I want that demonstrator to um, benefit from giving you a catalog. So that's the catalog. So today we are going to use the Everything is Rosy Medley. And this is the stamp set that goes with it. And it comes in a box and it has lots of products. So let me just quickly show you. As you can see, I've been tearing apart and using this. Um, but I want to show you what comes in the kit. I've actually put all my stamp, all my scraps in here too. So you get two different kinds of ribbon, and I'm going to use some of these today. Uh, you get this beautiful gold, or gold navy with the copper in it. It's really pretty. And then melon mambo. So I'm going to leave those out because I'm probably going to use them. Um, the kit comes, like I said, it comes with the stamp set. I'll just leave the scraps in there. It comes with paper uh, that is just it's beautiful, and it's got that foil cop copper in it, and then a bunch of copper paper. I think you get eight sheets of each type of each kind of paper. So there's a lot in here, and then the other side is not copper foil, but it coordinates with it. And actually, that copper foiling kind of puts a texture in the paper. It doesn't show up so much on that one, but on this one, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it's got a little texture to it, and I like that look. So that is, that's supposed to be there. Oh, and then it comes with, also comes with dyes. So you get these label dyes with the foil, and then also some flower dyes. And anyway, lots of product in here, and fun things to use. I'll put that back in there. You get these embellishments, which are copper foiled, and they're actually self adhesive. We did have a hard time. That's funny. We did have a hard time getting them to come out, and I just actually cracked it, and then it was easy. And now they're easy to, to get out. But that was it was just a little strong. And then you also get rose gold uh, shimmer paint, which I haven't even really used yet, and I don't plan to use it today. But I'm going to show you a couple techniques, a couple things I've done with this. Oh, the other thing you get with this is it comes with the dyes also. So. See, I just pulled these all out because I was playing with them. It has all the shapes that coordinate with the uh, stamps in here. So all these just all these dies coordinate with the stamp set, as you can see. And then it also has. I'm gonna put those all out because that's kind of a. We don't need to do that. And then it has these dies that are great. They, they're they um, real detailed. And there is, you can see that they're leaves and then this is an edgelet. So it goes along the edge of your cardstock and then leaves this beautiful fancy edge on the end of your card. But I want to show you a technique today when I'm making my cards. I did do a little bit of prep beforehand just to just to save a little time. And so what I did, well this is how sometimes I cut my framelit. So I took this half a sheet of our Whisper White cardstock. And you can see I just laid out the dies on my sheet and I cut them out and they're just blank, just blank white dies. And what I like to do with this is some days if I'm just sitting down watching TV, oh, I'm also using the stitched circle die. So that's what these two are. But sometimes when I'm just sitting down watching TV, I might take a die set and some just Whisper White or vanilla paper and just cut a bunch of dies and then I tuck them in an envelope, such as this, that I actually tuck then into the stamp set. So the next time I pull out that stamp set, I have this envelope full of stuff that I might be able to use. And then I'm going to show you, so I cut them all out, and then I'm going to show you how to set up your stamparatus to make it really easy to stamp them and have them be perfect. Um, I'm usually not that way. I usually am not too concerned about lining things up, but I love this idea because it's easy to set up and you don't have to think about it once you've done it. Um, so I can do some 
mindless stamping, I guess I would call it, while I'm watching TV and setting things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, so I've cut out my dies. Now, I use a Stamparatus, and I'm using um, a photopolymer set. And so I like to put a craft mat under there for some cushion, and then my foam pad. And then I'm going to take this piece that I used to cut the dies out, and I'm just going to set it in there. And either, either side would work. It doesn't matter. But I want to make sure that it's everything is butted up to that corner. I like to use my Stamparatus with everything butted up to the corner. And that's one of the reasons why I have that craft mat under there is because it just gives this corner a little bit more cushion and I don't have issues with my stamps not stamping up in the corner if that's where I've placed um, one of my stamp images. So once I've done this, I'm going to set this up. And I think I'll just I'll show you how I set it up. So I'm going to take my stamps and I'm actually going to just line them up, making sure that this is all butted up to the corner onto my die cut pieces. And this part is kind of easy because you can actually see. Now one of the things I've noticed is these get too sticky and I'm having a hard time keeping my fingers off of them. I will use a scoring tool or a tip of, of a scissor or anything just to make sure that they're lined up in those spots with this all up in the corner. And then I'm going to pick those up. I'll move these out because I'm going to need those. Pick those up. Now, now that I've got that done, I can take the dies that I've cut out and I can just set them in like a puzzle piece. And as you're doing this, it gets much easier. Once I've done that, then I'm going to take my ink, pick up my stamp, and stamp it down. And when I lift that up, I'm going to pull these off, and you'll see where I always get them placed right in the middle, right where I want them to be. And it's not, you know, sometimes you're fussing with the big shot, trying to line up the front dies with the stamps. I just think this is easier for me. The other thing that you can do, and I'll just do it with this one, is I'm just going to take this, make sure it's all squared away, Stamp it again without inking it up, and then pull that off, and I've got a pink flower. Oh, it didn't show up very well. Nice thing about the Stamparatus is you can put that back in there. And I don't expect this to be perfect because as I'm stamping, I'm spending too much time talking. But I want that to be just a bit darker. Eh, it'll work. But I just wanted to show you how you get that two-tone effect. So you've got your Melon Mambo and then just a lighter version of Melon Mambo. And then I'll lay this one in here. And this time I'm just going to ink up that flower and stamp it down. But you could see where you're doing this, you could actually get a whole bunch of flowers done in a very short amount of time without really paying a whole lot of attention. Does that make sense to people? So the next thing that I would do, let me close up this ink pad before I end up with Melon Mambo all over everything. And this time I'm going to go in with Oh, wait, I gotta do my leaves first. So I'm gonna go in with my leaves, do the same thing. Set these all up. Most important thing, make sure we're but everything's butted up to the corner when you're setting this up and when you pick them up. This one, I think that would be all I would do on this. Okay, so. Everything's lined up. I'm just double checking. And this time I'm going to pick it up with the other side. And now I've got that side set up. And so then I can add my, just like my puzzle pieces. Again, making sure that you're squared up. I, this one I wasn't totally squared up, but that's all right because probably have another one of those flowers around here. There we go. And once I've got that lined up, then I'm going to take the Night of Navy. And those are the only two ink pads I actually used with this. They coordinate well with, uh, with the paper that I'm using. And so see how well I did lining them up. Ta -da! So like this one, 
I do want to be a little careful because I can see the ink is still a bit shiny. That one has a little piece you have to pull out. But can you imagine how hard that would have been to line that up with just stamping it and then trying to line it up? Usually then I have had to tape it down to make sure it doesn't move. But this way, they're all, they're all exactly where I want them to be stamped. So I'm going to do that one more time because I need them. I'm doing two cards and I want these die cut pieces for the for a card. So it seems kind of complicated when you first start it, but once you start doing it, it's really fairly straightforward and simple. Especially once you've got your once you've got everything lined up, cut, and then like I said, you can do some mindless stamping just to get a whole bunch of pieces that then you can make cards with. So there's my tip for today for the Stamparatus. Um, and if you have purchased the Stamparatus from me, I do have a online class that I'm willing to share with you. And that's one of the tips that I show in that class. And um, I've got, I don't know, 13, 14 techniques, tips. If you purchase the Stamparatus from me, I send that to you for free. If you, otherwise you can purchase the class and you can find that on my website. So, first card we're gonna do. Let me pull the supplies. And so I just cut these down. This is actually four by five and a quarter. I've got two strips of the copper foil, a piece of the designer series paper that I actually cut in half. So it's three, I think I, I don't know if that has a, it doesn't have a line. So anyway, a piece of foil, a uh, piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, and I cut this the long way. So this is actually cut in half at four and a quarter, and when I fold it half, so I get four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's still the same basic card size. This is going to get added on here. See, this is where I thought I'd cut this down. I wanted this cut down to five and a half. So let me run to my cutter just quickly. And um, I could have just left it that long and then trimmed off the bottom, but, oh, wait. What I wanted to do is I want to add adhesive to this, and then I'm going to flip these pieces of foil over and line them up so they're even and square. Do the same thing on this side. And so I could have used another sheet of the foil cardstock and just cut it like three and a half by five and a half and layered it. I would have got the same look, but this is really saving on foil by just using that little half inch. Then I can line this up on my card base, that. tape it down and then you can see it looks like I have those two layers, but it's just really a kind of a fake layer. Now on this particular card, I'm going to put, I'm going to tie some of this beautiful navy, Knight of Navy ribbon. I'm going to show you a little technique that I use when I'm tying bows. So when I'm tying bows, I will take my ribbon and do one, two, three, four legs of the width of my card. That will give me enough to tie this ribbon into a bow. Without too much waste. So four lengths to do a, a bow and you'll see you have you know just have to trim off a little bit and if you're just going to do a knot then just do four lengths of the cardstock or three lengths. So three lengths for a knot, four lengths for a bow and when you tie it around the front of your card make sure you get just the front of your card and not. I've actually tied the whole thing onto everything in the past. That's just how I roll. So what I'm going to do then is I took one of my little stitched circles that I cut out with my other dies. And I'm actually going to use, for this one, because it's a photopolymer, I'm going to just use a, now I could set this up with my stamparatus, or I can just use a block, because that works too. Stamp that. In the Knight of Navy. 
I better close this up or I'm going to be sorry. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to add some flowers to it. So, um, we'll put this one on there. Put this little light pink one on there. Oh, you know, on this, I think on this little light pink one, I'm going to, I'm actually going to add this. And that, no, I just, oh, here, never mind. There. I'll come in with a little bit more night of navy. I love these cards when I just stuck with really basic, two basic colors. So I had your night of navy and melon mamba, which coordinated with the papers and the cardstock and everything. And it made things easy. I didn't complicate it too much. And I could just sit down and do a little stamping. Now I know that some of you are probably asking questions online and I cannot see anything that's going on online um, until I get back over there because I forgot my phone. Um, so hang on to your questions or ask them again when I get back over and you see me on the screen. I'll finish this card and then I'll come back and do the next card. So I'm just kind of putting some layers onto this stitched circle. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to find some dimensionals. I'll take some dimensionals and I'll just add them onto the circle. You see how I just kind of move this a little bit? So you can move that ribbon. Once you've got it tied, you can kind of place it where you want it. I'm going to place that on there and then I'm going to take like some of these leaves and add them onto the card base so you still get that dimension. And then maybe some of these little leaves go there. But anyway, quick, easy card. It's really beautiful. And then on the inside, so this is what I made earlier, just was copying. And I used this piece here, the four by five and a quarter piece, just layered it into the inside of my card and then stamped the same flowers. Um, just to kind of jazz up the inside of my card. And this is where I showed you I, where I stamped the Melon Mambo. You can see how this is Melon Mambo and then this is a lighter shade of, this, of the Melon Mambo. Very similar to this. So if, when you stamp it right away, um, you get a much better image than letting it sit and dry. So there's my first card. I'm going to run over. I'm going to get back online so I can see your questions. Um, Cool, I see something Wanda said. This is awesome. This is an awesome tip. Thanks. So I'm gonna kind of make a quick go around and see. Oh, good, Leanne's here too. Yay. I don't know, oh, there's a whole bunch of tips on YouTube. Okay, let me see. Uh, oh good, Anna got her catalog. Yay. Hello from Texas, Therese. Hello from Iowa, Cheryl. Hi, Marie from Eugene. I have a brother in Eugene. He's the one that came up. And Denise from... So now would be the time, if you have questions, to ask me. Now that I'm by my phone, I can check to see. I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, I do have somebody over on my website. Yep, Anita from California is on my website. So welcome. Um, I can get your messages. I just need to be close to my phone when I do that. So. Uh, Good, Marie liked the tip on the ribbon. So my tutorial for this month is using that everything is rosy. I made several cards with that. And usually I send a packet of goodies with the paper and embellishments, but because that particular kit comes with everything in it, instead of, you'll get the tutorial for you to make the cards that I'm, some of the cards that I'm making, but other cards too, um, to, to use with the stuff if you order that kit. If you don't order that kit, it's okay because that particular tutorial can be used with any stamps, ink, or ribbon. Um, use the same measurements, just change it up a little bit. So the joy of that is that this particular month in May, I can't believe it's May is half over. It's just, this time is just flying. Um, those people who place an order of over $50 a month for me, with me, will get a packet in June of in colors. So the new in colors, you'll get designer series paper, ribbon, and embellishments. So 
you'll be able to use the same tutorial. I hope that makes sense to people. Ah, thanks, Denise. And Sarah's here from Switzerland. I always love it when I see people from all over the world. It's very exciting. Um, I am not sure if anything is happening on Facebook. I hope that it is. I Nobody has commented, and so that kind of scares me. But that's all right, because I'll have this afterwards. Um, and it could just be me. Seriously, it could be me. Because I'll have this. Yeah. So I am there. I just don't know if anybody's actually hitting the button to join me. But that's all right. Okay, if you have a question, ask me now. I'm gonna swing back over and do another card with the same stamp set. I've got another card, and then I will answer a few questions if anybody has them, and then we will be done. So, let me scoot over there. See if I can kind of pick up this mess and do the next mess. So the next card that I'm coming with uses some of the designer series paper. So I'm using this foil paper, how pretty Mel and Mambo and that foil, and then it's got this denim looking Knight of Navy on the back. And I'm actually using the, those scraps. I'm using a piece of cardstock cut in half, so it's five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it in half, it's four and a quarter. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take this piece, and I'm actually gonna do basically the same thing I did with that other card. And I'm actually going to lay these down. And this time I'm trying to keep them fairly even on this end and this end. And then, so it looks like I layered it a bigger piece. Okay, so if you didn't want to do that, so I just kind of eyeballed and hoped that I got it lined up. If you don't want to do that, this piece here was actually four by. But this is two, so this is two and a half. So that, that would have covered the whole back, and then you could have just attached the whole thing. I hope that makes sense. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and add this to our card base. And this time I'm just using Whisper White. Um, just because sometimes I forget that we can just do a regular card base. I'm going to add a little piece of that denim ribbon. And this is a great little technique here with your scraps we always end up with scraps of ribbon. And then I'm gonna bring in some of that melon mambo. And I just need a piece. I love this ribbon, it's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna add that on top of that ribbon. And then if I want to, I can trim it down like that. And then I'm going to take my other circle. So this is another stitch circle that I cut out before I got started. And we'll come in with this little saying. It's kind of cute. It says, don't let your worry spoil your happy. On to that. And then again, I'm just going to use the pieces that I have to layer onto this label. So that, that. Punch out these. So if you see this die here, you punch out a die. I suppose you can't see that very well. Here. Maybe on maybe that will really make you see well. So can you see how you have the the cutouts there? It just gives it a little more dimension, and I really like that about that. And then <laughs> I'm just looking for some pieces. I, oh, there it is. One thing about me is I have a tendency to get paper pieces flying everywhere. Tuck that under there. Do the same thing. I'm going to take some dimensionals. So this time I'm just going to pull some off of here. Oh wait, I'm going to stamp this. Okay. Open up my navy. I don't know what it is about these little dots, but I think they're really cute. And I think it really changes the look of the stamp. 
I'll show you something I did too on the on the other card I made. When you stamp this Night of Navy onto the Melon Mambo, it gives it a a black tone, but that's all right. It still it still works. So I'm going to add some dimensionals. And see, I'm just using up. Use all your edges. Use every piece of dimensional you can get your hands on. And then I'm going to add this onto my card. And then again, add in some leaves. I want to add this one in there too. I like it. And that's just another really quick card that, that you can do. And on this one, just wanted to show you here quickly. See this piece here? This is actually a die cut. And I, when I was getting started to do my demonstration today, I couldn't find that die. And, you know, it's always a miracle to me when you lose a little die like this and then while you're filming or while you're on live, I actually found it kind of tucked in a piece of paper. So I was really happy I found that. Uh, one of the things people tend to have like to do with their dies, I try to just keep them in the same area when I'm stamping. But I guess in the automotive department, um, you can get a tool, a tray, for, and it's used for people like mechanics. They stick it under the hood of the car, and then they throw all the screws and all that stuff in there, and it's magnetic, and it sticks. And if that's a, if you have an issue with losing dies, that's a good way. In fact, I might swing down and see if my husband has one at our auto parts store. But that's a good way to just have a tray sitting there to toss them all in until you're done. And it's magnetic, so it's going to cling to them. So there's that card. Um, like I said, this particular product is um, called Everything is Posing Medley, and it's only available while supplies last. Here's the same card as the first one I did, which I don't know what I, oh, here, there. So the same card, different card stock, different arrangement of flowers. And on this one, we actually put, uh, can you see the little copper, little copper embellishments? This is one, I love this card. This, uh, this idea was shown to me by another demonstrator and this is just used one of the dies and the ribbon. And this is actually just a piece of paper that's five and a quarter by six and then scored so, so that this is four. And then just layer it onto a half, a quarter sheet of the cardstock. I just think this is so cute. And we all love to see both sides of the paper. This is the same thing, only done a different way. So I use one of the labels and some of the cards and then flips it up and she just shows the card. Easy to do. And then this one is a piece of designer series paper. This is the one side and then this is the other. So I cut four by five and a quarter and then cut off a strip, whether it's you could pick whatever size you want the strip to be. Um, I usually go anywhere from one and a quarter to two inches and then flip it over. I added a piece of ribbon just to finish it off and then a label with congratulations. And um, I actually have a friend who is a senior graduating this year and I believe this is gonna be your card because our colors here are maybe blue and gold and that's close enough. So anyway, they're not looking for the card anyway. They're looking for what's inside of it. So I'm gonna, Sneak back over to the camera. The dogs have made a huge mess. They like to bring sticks in to chew on. <laughs> um, see if anybody has any questions. Oh, Jean got the melody from her daughters for, oh, whoops. For Mother's Day, that's awesome, that's a great gift. Dorothy has the magnetic bowl and she loves it. Cool. Love the foil paper. Love your cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will see if I have any comments. Oh, I do have comments now on. Yay. I do have comments on Facebook. Um, which is awesome. I'm just checking to see. This is Anita loves one of the chips I gave. So you're welcome, Anita. And Anita's here from California. Yay. So anyway, quick and easy um, demonstration today. I will swing over. Oh, I don't use that one. Never mind. I will swing over. 
and screen share my oh first you have to okay i'm going to screen share the since this is a stampin up um online store and this is the everything is posy or everything is rosy i think i might be saying posy anyway rosy sweet medley product medley so if you click on that it will show you it actually shows you what comes in the medley so you can see all the products in one picture there's the stamp set and then it's got these great projects which you can copy right from there and then this is actually a picture of everything that comes in the kit and then a couple more projects so lots of ideas with this stamp set and realize that this is one of those stamp sets that you could use any color and it would be gorgeous. Um, I just use navy and Mill and Mambo. So, okay. Well, if there's no more questions, oh, I better. Cool. If there's no more questions. There, like I said, we have a postage code for this month. You'll get a product of a product. Uh, package of the in colors people should have gotten the packages for april orders because they went out and watch your mailbox for um the new catalog if you placed an order with me over the past year if you're interested in a paper share i've got that going on you can connect with that on my website at www.ddstamps.com Make sure you're signed up for my newsletter because that's where I send out a lot of my information. It goes directly to you from my newsletter. And if you're like on Gmail, half the time it gets put into your spam folder, but I'm still trying. Uh, I think you have to, I don't know. I don't, I don't do Gmail so much. Um, but look in your spam folder or whatever folder they call it. Uh, anyway, if nobody has any other questions, I'm going to say... Adios. Uh, thank you for coming. Spam folder. Thanks for joining me today. I will definitely be back on next week. I don't see foresee any reason why I couldn't be. I plan to be around for a while now. I've taken too many trips and it's time to get back into the swing of things. Um, I will be sending out some stuff about the new catalog. And uh, great. Thank you. Thanks for coming and I will speak with you soon. Bye.